Welcome in everybody. So I'm going to show y'all today how you can monitor the network traffic on your PLC. All right. So, so let's go in here to, we'll, we'll go into 15.1. All right. So we'll start a new project. All right. So first we're going to go to online access here. And we're going to try to find the PLC that's connected to the network. We're all wired in. And let's see here. We're using Ethernet, so right here. Let's hope we can find the PLC. Nope, not on that one. Oh, okay, here we go. I think we sit right here. All right, all right, I think we got the PLC here. Is this the IP address of the PLC? 192.168.01. All right, let's see if we can go online with it. Keep the IP the same. We won't change the IP, but um, are we able to go along with it? Let's see if we can ping it. Don't look like we're able to ping it. That's probably why we won't be able to go online. With it, um, try something here. Nope. Nope. Okay. All right. So let's check our settings here. might have to create a static IP address. Let's see if that makes a difference. Not able to ping it. Okay. All right, let's see. All right, so now we're able to ping it. All right, so I changed my static IP address, changed my IP address to a static ad. You know, so I just put it as um, a random IP address. That way I'm still on the same network as the PLC. All right, so let's see if we're able to go online now. No. I'm able to ping it. All right, now I'm able to go online. Now I'm online with it. Okay. Just had to had to re-update the um the folder over here. All right, so I'm online with it. And if I wanted to change the IP address, I can just assign a new IP address to it. 
Um, we're not going to do that right now. Um, it's not an appropriate net name. We're not going to do any of that right now. You see the diagnostics up here. Um, it's in the run mode. Yes, it is. So this is a physical PLC I have over here. Okay, so this is my PLC lab that I have here at the house. And we're going to be... Um, right now, we're online with it. Right now, we're online with it. So we're going to see if we can monitor the network traffic off of this PLC here that we have. And it's connected to the network. So we just was able to go online with it, was able to ping it. So we're going to monitor the network traffic using Wireshark. All right, now that we're now that you see the PLC that I have here at the house, um, let's see if we can get the program from it and bring the program up. All right, so I think we have to create a new project here. And let's call it um, TikTok. We just create a new project here. All right. So honestly, you do want to create a um a hardware config. Initially, you do want to create a hardware config. Uh, we're not going to do it on this one, but I think you initially do want to create a hardware config when you want to upload the project. Um, right now, we're just going to see if we can actually just see. PLC itself, and if we can't upload any blocks. I think we still have to create a hardware config here though, regardless. And so it's just uh, PNDP. Um, we'll just say it's this one. We'll just say it's this one. All right, so we have that here. All right, now we're able. All right, so now that we got the PLC here, now we're able to see if we actually can go online with it. All right, so let's see if we can go online. Online, let's do it online. Um, we're gonna look at a PGPC interface here. All right, so we can E up. Is that our, oh, so this is gonna be our network card here. And we're gonna say all accessible devices. Start search. All right, so now we see the PLC here. All right, we see it here, let's see, go online. And we're able to go online. So, so right here in Tier Portal, we're actually able to go online with the PLC. Um, the program blocks are different, of course, especially at the main block here. We can do a compare comparison. We can do all that, but we're not going to do that in this video. Um, so now, now that we know that we're able to go online with the PLC in Tier Portal, all right. So now we're going to want to try to go to Wireshark. All right. So let's close this. Close that. Close that. So let's go into Wireshark now. And remember, we know the IP address of the PLC. All right, so the IP address is, um, later, PLC address is 192.168.0.1. All right, so remember, the, we know the IP address of the PLC. All right, so we're gonna go, we're gonna open up Wireshark. All right, so you're gonna choose your network adapter. My network adapter just so happens to be um, Ethernet 4. So we're going to double click that. All right, so now we're monitoring all the traffic that's on the network, okay? And since we know the IP address of the PLC, we're going to we're going to filter all of this traffic that's coming in through the through the capture, through the packet sniffer. All right, so we're going to type in IP dot ad address here, space equal equal and then the IP address that we want. And that's going to be 192.168.0.1. Uh, All right. So once it's see, say, see green right here, if it shows green, okay, everything, the command that you put in, the prompt you put in, the filter you put in is okay to be, to 
to move forward, all right? If it's not green, then you have an error somewhere, and it could just be as capitalizing the I, making make sure it's lowercase. All right, so we're gonna monitor this network traffic here. Nothing. All right, so we're not getting anything coming through the PLC right now. We're not getting any type of traffic. All right, so let's see if we can ping it and see if that pops up. So even us pinging it, it is not popping up in our capture here. So that means we we have done something wrong where it's not even pulling up in our capture. All right, so let's start new real quick. All right, so we gotta make sure we're on the right, we got the right adapter here. So we are able, we're able to ping the PLC. Isn't it three? All right, so let's go to ethernet three here. I think this is the right adapter because I think I see the PLC talking. All right, so like we did a while ago, we're gonna type in our IP address. This is gonna be our filter, IP dot A, A, I mean ADDR, space, equal sign, equal sign, and then the IP address of the PLC, which is 192.168.0.1. It goes green, let's get this filter. Now we're seeing packets coming through the, the, the PLC. This is how you capture packets on a PLC using Wireshark. So you can monitor your network traffic coming in and out of the PLC. And we see our IP address right here. And we can do even more. We can change our filters. Also, you can change the filters how you want it. Um, instead of just the IP address where you get the source and destination, you can do just destination. Change it to IP.DST. And now we can see all the packets where our, our, our PLC is the destination. So everything that's coming to the PLC right now, where the PLC is the destination. Now you can also see what um, traffic is going out of the PLC and you will change that to IP source. All right, so it'd be SRC as the command for that filter. And see, this is all the traffic that's coming out of the PLC. The PLC is the source. So this is all the traffic that's coming out of the PLC and going to different destinations. And and you can analyze, you can get, um, have graphs, you can create graphs, filter however you want, you know. Um, but the goal here though, this is how you can monitor the network traffic on your PLC. Like, if you like this video, make sure you hit the follow button.